All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Let's look at uh, the market context real quick, and then we'll call it a day. So, um, you know, right now we've seen a, you know, multi-day balance breakdown. The, um, the thing to be aware of here is what I just talked about, the fact that the breakdown move started at the top of the balance, right? So we're looking at a daily chart here, and the move started at the top of the balance, and now it's trying to break down. When that happens, um, you know, in terms of a balance breakdown pattern, what we often see is that buyers step in at the support areas, and you end up getting a bounce back into the balance. So we can see that we're breaking this balance, but we're now coming into a larger one, right? So you can kind of see this is one balance and the markets are fractal. So you have balances within balances. And, uh, you know, you can kind of look at this entire thing as one large balance area as well, right? So you're breaking one, but at the same time, you're still part of this big one. So buyers can still be active at stronger areas of support below. So if we look at, uh, you know, the... Um, profile chart we can see that you know today the market pulled back into this larger time frame high volume node uh, roughly at like 53 quarter to like 56 half or so right so this is an HVN that we pulled into uh, we have a open gap at uh, 47 half which uh, you know can be considered uh, kind of a launching point of directional conviction as well so those are still spots where buyers can be active and we can still get, you know, bounces back up towards, you know, the 65, 66, even back up towards, uh, you know, the 75 area potentially, right? Now, this is a bigger idea, so it doesn't mean it has to happen tomorrow, but the door is open for that to happen over the next few days. So the reason I bring that up is to make sure that you don't end up shorting the market at too aggressive of a price. So that means that, you know, let's say the market gets uh, sold off into the 45, 47 area, and you end up shorting 47. Like, be aware of location. Um, I think the opportunities are going to be good over the next several days, but be mindful of where you're shorting, because even though the sellers are dominant in control now, because of the beginning of this breakdown, the fact that the breakdown started at the upper edge of this multi-day balance and has now gone in a straight line, it's essentially overextended. And you could get bounces, you know, off the support zones below. I mean, that theme you saw play out even today on the day time frame, every single support zone provided a bounce. And uh, that can happen even heading into tomorrow, where if the market sells off, which it, you know, it very easily could, um, you could still get bounces, and then the market could go into um, developing a new balance area, right? So be a bit more mindful of that. Uh, the fact that, you know, we sold off from the top of balance, which means don't get overly bearish, right? Don't get so bearish that you're willing to sell at any price and kind of, you know, blinded by just this big move down. I mean, yes, it's a big move down. Yes, the sellers are in control, but that doesn't mean that buyers can't step in as the market gets overdone into the next area of support, and then we get a bigger bounce back up. That would be a very, uh, you know, possible scenario. Uh, 